Hey guys, what's up? It's the Gas the Gengar, and today we are here looking at another trailer. As you see, another trailer was dropped today for the starter Pokemon, and I I, I, I had one failed recording because the MP4 file I downloaded was, was corrupt, and the first decision they made with the first final starter evolution, the typing, I'm. Let's just show you, all right. Uh, I'm not playing any sound, so there's no conflicting sounds with the music. But first we have Desuai? Desuai? Dexai? It is a grass ghost type, which means that this typing, this bird, this owl, has lost its flying type. I don't understand why, or why it's a ghost type, but we'll read that in the description, alright? Uh, this Pokemon is able to move about while completely making its presence from others, or, yeah, while completely making its presence from others. Uh, one op uh, once an opponent has lost sight of it, that's why it seizes the chance to attack in un unaware in a tenth of a second. That's why it plucks arrows from its quill, from which in its wing sends hurling towards the target, and speeds its astonishing, but not more so than pre uh, precise aim, which enables the arrow quill to pierce targets through and through the half mile or more. Uh, away. Sorry, this is so small. Desuai usually acts very cool, but it can sometimes terribly flustered in unexpected situations like a surprise attack. A skilled Desuai can boast acrobatic curved shots and seem more also available to shoot arrows and reach up to the sky, only come drilling down from above, piercing multiple targets one after another. <sighs> that explains nothing about its typing, though. Um... Like, maybe it's not, like, a hunter like we thought it was. Maybe it's more of, like, a shaman or something. I don't know. But the next one is the one I'm most excited about because everyone knows the next up in the line of evolutions is fire. And here's its signature move, Shadow Shock, which prevents Pokemon from switching out. Um, and then we have the Litten Evolutionary line, which we finally know its, we finally, we finally know its name, which is Incineroar, and here's the moment we've all been waiting for. It's not firefighting. Oh my god, you don't have any idea how excited I am to say that. I mean, I would have chosen it anyway if it was, but I am just pumped. Let's get into the description before we talk about it. Um, as, a fight, as its fighting spirit increases, the flames that Incineroar produces with its body burst from its navel and waist and waistline. Since the flames somewhat resemble a championship belt, they're known to be... They're known to be its flame belt, the Pokemon unleashes moves that use flames from it. In the heat of battle, the Incineroar shows that it's concerned for opponents or no, shows no concern for its opponents, and sometimes even launches attacks that strikes opponents' trainer. As a result, it may tend to dislike this Pokemon and keep it at a distance. If the crowd's watching its battle, it's pumped up Incineroar's fighting spirit and will burn brighter, but a lackluster crowd will make it lose focus or fight fight shoddy. Uh, when it receives the admiration of young Pokemon and children, it may keep its cold attitude on the outside, but its heart, uh, but in its heart of hearts, Incineroar is immensely happy and loses the desire to fight when faced with a Pokemon that's clearly weak or injured, and it somehow gets taken advantage of as the result. Alright, so that description alone, I am definitely choosing this as my starter. Not, like, without a doubt, Incineroar is going to be my partner throughout this region. <clears throat> so his ability is Blaze, which uh, raises the fire type moves by a little bit. I'm still, like, with that description and its look, Fire Dark does not fit. Um, it's the, po like, we still have a quote-unquote secret from these Pokemon. Uh, maybe it's an alternate form or something, because right now, this Pokemon does not look like the friendly... Well, again, it says it's Cold Heart Exterior. It doesn't show up, but... I just don't know how to feel about this typing in that look. Um, I'm glad that it's Fire Dark like I predicted, but... I don't... Like, I'm also confused. Alright, let's just move on. So here we see in the group battle... Or no, not the group... Is that where its Pokemon thing is? kind of adorable, but at the same time, 
I already know what's gonna happen as, now that everyone knows its name. And I'm not excited about it. <laughs> um, Darkest Lyrat ignores the opponent's stat change. Ooh, boy. Alright, and now we have Poplios, which is Pimarina, Water Fairy. Um, a lot of people predicted that it was gonna be Water Fairy, to be honest. So let's look at this description. Um, it dances per, uh, per, Primarina, releases balloons of water into the area around itself, moving them using the sound waves of, and its vo uh, from its voice. Uh, the slight moonlight reflecting off its glittering balloons creates a magical scene. Since Pokemon controls balloons, it uses its voice from any injury of throat uh, to a throat can become a grave problem. Its greatest enemies are iron environments and the overuse of its voice during back-to-back -back battles. Among the balloons, the Prima releases some explode during touch. Uh, while others do not, Prima jumps on the non-exploding balloons while they make the sport of their opponents. Uh, they use exploding variety to trigger chain explosions. Prima's songs have many variations, and each one changes the motions of the balloons. It has set, been observed that the songs are shared among Prima and live together, so different colonies end up knowing different songs. I mean, that's really cool and all, but... I'm, re I'm still confused on why it has to look like that, and also on top of that, how is it going to be agile when it has no legs whatsoever? I guess we'll see how it moves around in the anime, even though the anime usually makes all the Pokemon look really cool and fast while they're running around, well the majority of them. So let's take a look at this baby in battle. So its ability is Torrent, nothing new. Uh, maybe its hidden ability will be different. Um, this is starting off a lot. Premium to seek to move sparkling area. Heals and bur uh, heals the burns of any target it strikes. Wait, why? What? Does it do more damage to Pokemon? Oh, we have Guardians too. Alright, so first is off. Well, first we see Tapu Koko. But the next one is Tapu Lele. Ooh, let's get that description done. I wasn't expecting this. Um, let's see. Top of Le A. Okay. Is the Psychic Fairy type. Uh, with the ability Psychic Surge, which I don't think is something that we've seen. Um, there's a legend which says long ago, Tapu Lele once brought an into a war between the islands of Alola by scattering its skills and soothing the tired warriors. Tapu Lele scatters, uh, yeah, scattering its skills and soothing the type. Oh wait, no, what? Tapu Lele scatters their bodies and healing their illnesses, injuries. But these scales can be dangerous as well because the body can't uh, withstand the changes brought up, up by the contact of too many scales at the same time. It scatters its scales over humans and Pokemon its enjoyments. While it's innocent in one sense, there is also cruelty in a way, casually bringing others to ruin. If Tapu Lele doesn't have much energy stored in its shell, it may lack the strength to seize victory in its head-on battle. With in mind, with this in mind, it tends to prioritize not losing a battle over actually beating a foe, and its skill that strategies uses inflicting status conditions on opponents. I, I don't know how I feel about the whole, like, not intentionally bringing ruin to other people's lives. Um, so let's look at the Psychic Surge ability. Um, activates Psychic Terrain when sent out, okay. So I'm guessing all the abilities of these, uh, legendary Pokemon are gonna be, like, activates some kind of terrain ability when thrown out. Alright, so let's get right into battle. Um, right off we, s I guess we get to see it in battle, I don't know who owns it. Um, Psychic Surge, again, we already know what that does, we just read it. Uh, I don't know how I feel about the design of this Pokemon. I mean, it looks pretty cool. Actually, it looks like an urn of some sort, so I guess that's okay. Um, so far, no new moves. And then we have Ula Ula Ula. Tapu, Bubu, Tapu Bulu. That's weird. Um, the Grass Fairy type? I would think that's more of a fighting fairy, but whatever. Um, the ability is Grass Surge, which we don't, we'll put the grass field out. 
Um, Tapu Bulu has the power to manipulate vegetation and cause it to grow. It can use this power on its own horns, which are made of uh, wood. Oh, I guess that does make sense. Changing their shape or making them larger. This can come in handy in battle. This sol uh, stolid Pokemon is not very active. People's opinions differ on which it's docile. It seems for reason does not move or much. It can be chalked up as a simple laziness. Tapu Bulu does not like unnecessary battles or frightening other Pokemon. Because of this, it makes loud ringing noises when its tail alert nearby past presence. Although Tapu Bulu may not like to start battles, it shows no mercy when dealing with endeavors. Or evildoers. My bad. Um, it said that when thieves once broke into its ruins, it punished them by swinging trees around with massive clubs. Oh. Okay. So apparently it's very violent. I'm gonna guess it's... Or, it can be very violent. It just, um... I'm gonna say it's more of a bulky build. Look kind of like a bull. Um... So there we just saw it use its... Le leech horns. Um, Tapu Fifi, uh, Fini. Uh, Tapu Fini. Uh, oh, yeah, sorry, I didn't get the thing finished. Water Fairy Mist Surge. Um, it is the Water Fairy type. We just said that. Mubby. Uh, this Pokemon is able to create a special water that purifies both mind and body, but Tapu Fini's requires that suppl uh, supplicants wishing to obtain the purifying water demonstrates its strength to withstand the Tapu's fog. Uh, many humans have tried to withstand Tapu Fini's fogs in pursuit of purifying water. Among them were some with evil intentions, which may not be the reason Tapu Fini's sense of disgust and lack of interest in appearing to people. Tapu Fini is able to, at uh, to attack by manipulating water. Since it hates the risk of harm to itself during battle, it prefers to create a thick fog that puts opponents in tra uh, trance and leave them to destroy themselves. Tapu Fini's expression reminds them of list list even when it's changing unleashing moves for some people saying it might look this way because it's using moves it's so exhausting um, this looks uh, like it, when it shells close it reminds me of like maybe a shark or a swordfish or something but when it's open it reminds you of that weird mermaid monster from courage the cowardly dog um, it's definitely something I would see being used in the contest uh, I don't know if contests will be in this. I really hope they are. And the Tapa share a unique Z move, which is called um, Guardians of Alola. What the fuck? Um. Um. Your character looks a little too happy. With it's doing that, encounter even more Pokemon. Cosmog. Alright, this is the one that no one really knew what the fuck it was about. So, I'm really glad we're actually getting to see this, because a lot of people are saying that it's a... Um, spoiler alert, skip ahead a few seconds, or maybe like... I want to say maybe a good 10-20 seconds. But a lot of people are saying Cosmog is a pre-evolution of the... Like, fine art of the legendary Pokemon, which I don't understand. But, this extremely rare Pokemon is only known to select few in Alola at one, uh, one at a time. It was well known by the kings of Alola and their heirs and is called the Child of the Stars. The Aether Foundation is researching these unusual Pokemon, and one professor at the Foundation recently dubbed it Cosmog. Cosmog is very curious and shows no fear to people or humans. If you treat it with any consideration at all, it will take immediate liking to you. This personality trait often leads it to danger. Its gaseous body is so lightweight that it's sent flying when wind blows it. When its light falls on its Pokemon, Cosmog absorbs it and grows. So it's very dangerous to take this outside, I'm guessing. Um, the ability Unaware. I, I don't know what that is. But I, I can't see this Pokemon being hard hitting at all. Um, so let's see if we can find this ability on this page. Unaware, ignores any changes in stat- okay. So, no stat changes happen to this and our Pokemon. It looks like something I'd seen Kirby. Um, we already know about Persian Alola form, but I'm guessing we're getting the official thing for it now. Um, just flat out dark type, fur coat, and technician. I'm guessing- we, we kind of assumed it. Um, the f a lot of people were really mad at it, it looked like Garfield. Witness the beginnings of the Alolan battles? 
Um, the highest place in the world. Uh, we're going to be awesome league here, so you better come as an awesome trainer. Villain champions can take on the battle tree. Battle team up with other famous trainers? We can team up with them? Yo! Cynthia. Was that Yeah, I think it's Cynthia. Wally? Red? Blue. I guess that would make sense since we're able to transfer Pokemon up from the original games. Uh, wow. <laughs> he doesn't talk. Still silent as ever. Uh, I'm pumped for this. Oh my god. It's been so long since we could face red and blue. I mean, it's not been that long since Pokemon Soul Silver. And I think they were in black and white as the, like, thing. Yo, this is insane. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that trailer, because... Oh, wrong thing again. Because I know I did, and I just can't wait for the games to come out now. I'm actually going to be going to pre-order my game any day now, and I'm definitely going to pre-order Sun. I'm going to choose Litten as my starter Pokemon, and let's just hope that... At this point, I kind of want the news to stop, because... Not that it's hard to keep up with or anything, it's just that... By the time the game comes out, at this rate, we're already going to know everything there is to need to know about the game, other than the story. And with all the leaks and stuff that happened, uh, which I know I kind of took part in with the last video, showing all the new Pokemon. But I just kind of want them to slow down with the news, you know. Let us all just either take in some of the stuff that's already been talked about, or maybe uh, let us forget about some of the minor things that they've talked about that we don't know. So... If you like this video, hit that like button down below, hit the subscribe button if you want to support this channel by helping me get past 29 subscribers. Um, and if you want to see more videos like this in the future, hit that subscribe button as well. And I hope you have a great and wonderful day. Um, if, if, uh, I'm going to be working on completing my, po completing my Pokedex. Um, I only have one more region to go. And I really hope I can get this done by the time Sun and Moon comes out, because I really... Completing that Pokedex is going to take even longer with version exclusives and having to bring all the Pokemon up to breed them, get an egg, and put them back in the, the Pokebank. Because I'm really anal about the Pokemon I have being ex like born in that region and with that trainer. So, I hope you all have a great day again, and until next time, bye bye